Gran Turismo 7 update 1.15 is here and it has some big quality of life updates that you definitely should know about. Firstly, I can confirm Gran Turismo 7, the team there, they do watch this channel. I think we made the biggest video on the curb glitch in Gran Turismo 7. They've listened, they've acknowledged this. It's buried down in the patch notes, but I'll bring it up here for, for you anyway. Fixed an issue wherein cars would drive unnaturally fast when tires drove over some curb stones. So they've listened to us, they've fixed it. It's exactly what I said in the video. I don't blame people for doing it, but it's something PD to fix. That's exactly what they've done. Some other quality of life updates that are really important. Penalties. You'll be seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about unfair penalties, penalties not working as intended. And you can see down here in section number 14, all the way at the back of the patch notes, adjust the penalty judgment algorithm so that penalties will not be applied for minor contacts in sport mode and in lobby. So that's a great, great, great quality of life update. In duty sport, we never used to get this kind of communication. It's absolutely fantastic. I've got high hopes that they're going to continue to bring these quality of life updates throughout the life of the game. Some other things I want to mention to you, here we go. So you can see here in the sport mode section, online time trial has been added to support. Now this is absolutely fantastic. I ran a competition with GT Omega and GT Sport where a lucky viewer of this channel won a GT Omega Prime rig and we ran that throughout, you know, using the whole official online time trial function. That's in Gran Turismo 7. Now we can run competitions like that again. Make sure to subscribe by the way to the channel if you want to hear about those competitions, if you want to be in the mix to win. Obviously the headline notes from the patch are the addition of the new cars. We've got the Rose to Shop Rampage, we've got the Toyota GR10 Hybrid um, from the WC series, and we've got the Suzuki Vision Gran Turismo, another VGT, but quite cool. Suzuki pulling out of MotoGP, but maybe putting that resource into the VGT program that they've got. Another thing that's added is birthday present tickets, absolutely fantastic. I'm already excited to see how that can be exploited. Can you change your birthday to be every day of the year and get 365 birthday tickets? I will be finding out, don't worry about that. <laughs> and we've also got three new menu books, 40, 41, 42, the lightweight cake up. You better believe I'm gonna be there with my cappuccino. There's a VGT trophy and there's a group one prototype series. Absolutely, I'm a big fan of this, adding to the menu book. I'd love it if by the end of the game we had like 100 menus there to collect. So it's absolutely fantastic news that they're adding this. I think that's great. And you can see down here the circuits that these are going to be run at. So we're going to have the lightweight cake up at those circuits, VGT Trophy and the Group 1 prototype circuit. Interestingly, not at Le Mans, at Suzuka and at Daytona, but not at Le Mans. So that is a bit of a weird one. Now, this is a good quality life feature that I didn't know existed before. When Escape Slideshow is played to the auto demo, it's now possible to go direct to the escape trailer by pressing the triangle button. So when you see your car driving through these cool scapes and you kind of let the the game sit a little bit, you'll be able to press the triangle button and go directly there and take your own photo. I think that's a really, really cool quality love feature. I'm all for that. Now, this is one that I know a lot of people have been asking about. We had this in Gran Turismo Sport in our Discord. We have a bot where in Gran Turismo Sport, it'll tell you your DR, tell you qualifying times. None of that in Gran Turismo 7 until now, 13. An indicator showing the progress of the next driver rating has been added to the profile. So if you're chasing that next rank, whether it's D, C, B, A, or even that A+, now you should be able to see how far there is to go to get that next level. Now this one needs to come and check because the legend cars have been repriced. Are they gonna have gone down? Well, with all the inflation going on in the world, I don't think so, but <laughs> there's been a repricing of the car, so just bear in mind, they may have gotten more expensive. Now this is another glitch that Grand Tour 7 have fixed. Now I've made videos on this before about the Tomahawk, you can mess with the gearing and it kind of breaks the PP calculation so you can have a very, very fast Tomahawk going to like 300 miles an hour, 400 miles an hour and it'll have reload PP. That's by messing with the gearing. It looks like they fixed this. Now I'm really interested to see what the consequence this will be because it may have affected the PP system in other ways but essentially they've kind of tried to work it out so you can't break the gearing and get a really low PP. They fixed the overtake system in the Super Formula cards, which I mentioned in my Super Formula video, and there's other things as well, so better force feedback, better sound, um, other kind of, again, sort of short quality of life features. So let me know what you think about this update. Was it what you were expecting? Did you want anything else? What should they be focusing on in the next update? It feels like here they're trying to really tidy up Gran Turismo 7. They're not really bringing in anything massively new, but they're very appreciated tidy up features. There are my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see in the future and I'll see you next time.